the most important topic of csap.net is create how to create setup first of all we are creating one new project we are creating c sharp project in c drive set up underscore path folder now creating ok when we are creating first time project then it takes such time to load first of all uh, we are creating one simple application after then we are creating setup now here is pom now from toolbars we have required one text box and one button for simple application i set the value of button is set value right over here hi now run this application and first of all we check that there is error or not if there is no error then we start the procedure of creating setup now i get output now we start our procedure to create setup file now first of all you have to right click on this solution explorer not here but you have to click over here right click add and new project in this you have to select this other project types setup and deployment and visual studio installer visual studio installer create this setup project setup uh, name which you want to write i write over here setup one now okay. now in this application folder you have to right click add and assembly this is most important for creating setup assembly it takes such time to load now i have required this type this uh, from select from crystal report starting from mysql web if you are using any types of other tools rather than asp.net other libraries then you have to select this library path from here and dot okay. you can see here the all libraries are installed in your folder setup one folder this is create automatically so it does not require to create here setup one now right click again application folder right click and now you have to click project output and select primary output select primary output and ok now close this here here on your setup one right click on setup one and properties and you have to require this prerequisites hmm. which uh, framework you are using that you have to select and i am using visual c sharp so i cli click over here visual c plus to runtime libraries h86 and h64 h64 useful for 64 bit os and this is for 32 bit os now dot net framework if you want to install 3.5 service pack on then it's okay otherwise not required currently i'm using dot net framework 4 so i am using this dot net framework 4 and now press ok now apply and ok now right click on setup one and click build so it takes such time to build this setup approach 20 to 30 second it take wait until the message will display setup uh, successfully completed it 
compile for DLL file which we include in this when you install in this uh, setup file you not require the visual studio in your destination folder this is the most important you no require your visual studio you required only one computer okay. build successfully now i stop this project close this project now I store my project in C drive so I open C drive in this uh, setup path folder in this windows form in this setup one so setup one folder is most important in this folder our setup will be stored now setup one debug and this is the setup file so I execute this setup file next I store C drive setup one everyone next next we give the path in C drive it take approach half a minute to install wait until this process will complete now close our setup is installed in C drive setup one folder bins folder this is our shortcut so I 3 at send to desktop so I 3 at shortcut here now double click on this and say it well you can see I run my project using this setup file thank you